salutations and welcome to Read It Between the Lines. I am your host, The Water Dog. Today I've got a special treat for you. We've got an interview with the great Norm Brown. That's right, the Prince of Lafayette, my prince, is here with us today. How you doing, man? I'm doing fantastic, man. I'm, <laughs> I am living it up. <laughs> living the dream. Right. Living the dream. Anyway, we got Norm in. He's, he's out here to play the, uh, the, the uh, Coat Ambers Hold Tournament this weekend. And so while I got him out here, I said, you know what, Norm, I, I'd love to have you as my first interview. And Norm said, absolutely. So we set up some line of questions. But before I get to mine, I do have a uh, uh, one of our viewers on the YouTube channel here has got a question. So we're going to ask that to Norm. We're going to make him go crazy with it. It's from Poker Pie uh, Pillar. I hope I'm saying that. Poker Pillar. He says, here's an idea for a question for Norm Brown in advance of the interview with him. Ask him to make a list of the places he has traveled in order to play V-Test. The answer should be staggering. So, where have you played? I have played in Portland, starting from the West Coast going east. So, played in Seattle, uh, Los Angeles. I have played in El Paso, Texas. I have played in uh, Dallas, of course, which is great guys. Played in Austin, great guys. I played in Houston. I have played in Lafayette. I played in New Orleans. I have played in Atlanta, I have played in Montreal, Canada. I have played in Sh Sh Durham for sure. I played in Denver. I, I skipped Denver. I played in Denver. I'm sure it's all I played over. In Charlotte. I now played, let's, just, let's just break some. How many places in Europe? Is some of the big. I've been to Paris. I played in the European Championship in Paris. I played in the European Championship in Helsinki. I'm planning on playing in Barcelona this coming up fall. I'm very excited for. Um, that is as far as like I've gotten outside the United States. So, okay. you, have, so you haven't gone to like Latin America or anything like that? Not yet. Not yet. I am going to go there for right. sure. Yeah, because when I go a lot, I notice they got a big playground. I think Mexico City is a fantastic city, and I'd love to get into the, that group. All right. All right, well, we're going to hit Norm now with some of our questions. I've got questions I've been wanting to ask some of these great VTES players. And especially my man Norm here. So we're going to get started, okay? Uh, Norm, what first attracted you to the game? Well, I was dabbling in Vampire the Masquerade and Magic the Gathering in 1994. And a lot like chocolate and peanut butter, I thought that two great tastes that would go great <laughs> together were those two. So I tried it out. And it was great. It was fantastic. I've been hooked ever since. <laughs> All right. So when did you first start? Like, about, about what year? Was you there at the very 1994, beginning? yeah. Jihad with the old Jihad rule book, which made no sense at all. And we were just trying to figure it out. We just, nobody knew how to play at all, yeah. really. I'm in, I'm in the same boat because that's when I started playing. I started playing right out of the gate. And of course, you know, you're making you know, so many mistakes because I agree with you, the, the rule book was a little off there. Uh, what's your favorite clan? Well, I, I don't know if I have a favorite clan. It's kind of like going to what's your favorite flavor of ice cream. But this week's favorite, I like Blood Brothers. Uh, big fan. I think they're the sanguinous discipline has come a long way. And I think there's a lot of uh, synergies built in there. Um, so that's really what I'm, my favorite flavor of the week is this week. Okay, so let's get to the tough one. What's your favorite vampire? Okay, so that is a great question. Um, you know, I, I hate to go back to this vampire, but I've always <laughs> loved playing Basilia. Basilia is my favorite vampire. Uh, she brings everything to the table uh, that you need in a vampire. She's got stealth, potence, and just a ton of multi-acting with uh, fortitude. That inherent aggravated damage yeah. is just icing on the cake. Oh yeah, absolutely. All right, now, what's your favorite discipline? That is uh, a great question. Uh, it's got to be potents. I mean, potents. Potents just equalizes so many things that, you know, I don't want to say that so many powerful s strategies in the game dominate, obfuscate, presence. Potence just answers all of them with a big knuckle sandwich, which is fantastic. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. When anybody ever asked me why do I play the way I play, why yeah. do I play combat, I said, well, look, I learned in Lafayette. <laughs> <laughs> in Lafayette, if you didn't learn how to play combat, you just might as well not learn how to play. <laughs> that's kind of what it is. You know, I, you know. uh, now, which deck archetype do you enjoy the most? 
Well, yeah. combat is probably what I'm known for the most. Uh, I love to play combat. I love to play combat with a mix of something else in there. Um, so it's really fun. Combat is great, especially if you play it well. Uh, but it takes a takes you know a lot of practice to, to learn how to play combat well. So that's it's the most challenging strategy, and I like I like that third leg of the the three legged stool of BTS, and and it's great. It's the control of, of all the strategies. Oh yeah. Now, uh, when you're building your deck, do you have a go to card? It's, you you figure like it's going to pretty much be in just about every library that you build. Is there just a certain card you feel like that's got to have at least one of them? Is there a card like that that you kind of got kind of go to? Well, I mean, there's I got one of those in each category, but if I had to put one card, well, that's a tough one. That is a tough, tough call. I would, I would definitely say uh, Dreams of the Sphinx is my most versatile card. Allows you to really accelerate uh, or, or build your hand size out and cycle your hand. That's really the card of choice for me. Okay. Now, what's your favorite thing about VTX? I mean, what is your favorite thing about it? Well, uh, I, I like it because it, it's it's actually a long game. It's a, it's it's got more of a a board game length to it. it it's, you know, it's, it's a very deep game. It's a deep dive. It's not a, a hit it and quit it kind of game. You like if you stick at it, you stick to it, you don't quit. You can win almost any game. So it's it's great in that it, it, it's self balancing as long as you just stick in it, stick with it. Okay, sounds good. Uh, now let me, let me ask you this then. Uh, because these are gonna be these are my favorite types of questions to ask. Okay, just call me crazy. Yeah. Call me the the pot stirrer. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stir the pot. Yeah. If you could change one rule, if you could change one rule in the game. What would it be and why? Contesting. I would definitely change the way contesting works. Contesting is we have so many vampires in the game. Contesting is so rare and it's so devastating when it happens that it definitely needs. Uh, 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 somebody to take a, a look at it for sure. I would definitely change that rule. Okay. Now, uh, if you could ban one card, what would it be? Uh, I, if I had to ban one card, uh, what is the, the, I would actually probably, I would probably say Emerald Legionnaire. I would have to say that one. It's, it's just, the way it, it, it interacts with the game is just too one-sided. It's too explosive. It comes out you can't prepare for it. All right. Now, who's the best player you've ever played? And do you have an interesting story to, to kind of relate to that best player? I mean, if you, you get down to this guy's just so good and you got a good story that kind of goes along with that? I have a lot of them. I've been playing a long time. Yeah. And, and I've played with a lot of great players. Um, and I have a story for... Every player, but I, I remember the specific one time I went out to Los Angeles uh, for a job interview and I was hosted by the great Los Angeles play group out there. And there was a player out there, uh, and I hope he's still active, uh, Dennis Lean, and he was playing a Tremere Any Tribute Mind Rave deck with Aaliyah, the Cardinal, and I was playing a Slew Ray Any Tribute deck. And he mind raped by Salubri and Tribute, clan impersonated to Tremere and a Tribute, took control of it again using her special, then go con me. So I put a skull card go con me. I was like, okay, that's, that's, that's the end of my game. So, that's, so. <laughs> that, that's all it takes, man. Yeah. That's it. You're right, there's just so many. There's so many, there, there's so many players. great players. Yeah. Uh, and I have, uh, and, uh, I hope I didn't hurt anybody's feelings. <laughs> we have just so many great players here. Yeah. So. All right, this is going to be my last one. This is just, my, I don't know, I just want to know. What's your favorite vampire movie? My favorite vampire movie has got to be Bram Stoker's Dracula. With Gary Oldman as Dracula and Keanu Reeves as the main character. It was just, it's an, it's an amazing, beautiful movie. And Gary Oldman has never just not taken the role up to the next level. So he, I think he's my personal favorite for uh, playing Dracula. All right. Well, Norm, I appreciate you coming out here. I appreciate you taking the time to do this little interview with us, man. And uh, good luck at the tournament unless you're playing me. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, I've got plans for you, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, folks, thanks for tuning in and reading Between the Lines. I want to thank Norm Brown, and we've got a couple more interviews coming up. So we'll see you soon. Y'all take care.